In this video, we're going to look at how we can build an AI tool that can analyze a resume and give a suggestion. It's going to be very similar to this SaaS application where one could analyze the resume, understand the structure and the keywords to use, understand how we can improve the resume and also give us the score of our resume compared to the job application. Now, SaaS tools like this have millions of users, and what we'll see is building a tool like this is very easy with Langflow. Now, the workflow that powers a resume AI tool is quite simple. We are gonna start with the file, that's of course the resume, and we parse the text from the resume, and we send the content of the resume along with the job description to our language model. And this could be any of the providers that you use for your LM usage. And the nice thing in Langflow is that it's quite easy to drag and drop any of the LM providers as well as the providers here in the bundles. So if you are interested in using the latest XAI model, you could use the XAI component, select the model name, and then provide your API key and get started using that model. Now going into details of each of these components and how we use them, first is the file component. This is a available in the component section. You can search for the file component and drag and drop to use in our workflow. Now for the file component, you can select any of the files that you have uploaded previously within Langflow, or you can drag and drop a new file. And there are multiple formats accepted in this file component. And the cool thing is once you provide the file, you can actually send the raw content. So you can send the data parsed from this file component directly into the next step in the workflow. Now, there are certain cases where you might want to send the file path and that file path is used downstream by one of the components. But for most cases, you might want to use the raw content to parse data from the file. So for this uploaded content, I can run the component and you can notice that this is quite fast. It parses the resume data and we can look at the content that was parsed. So here we got all of the text from the PDF in a nicely formatted manner. So it's easy to read for us as well as for LMs. Now, once we have our resume content, we want to grab the job description. And one of the tools that is quite popular is the Firecrawl Scrape API. Firecrawl offers a few different components and feel free to test these different components for different use cases. In this particular case, I just wanted to scrape the content of one web page and then use that. So for that case, scrape API component works the best. And I am going to grab the URL for any job opening that I'm interested in. In this case, I just pulled the URL for a position at OpenAI and provided that to Firecrawl crawl scrape API. And once we run the component, we'll see that the data is now parsed in nice sections. So this is in JSON format. It looks quite nice. It has the markdown of the web page. It has the metadata from the web page as well. So all of this data could be utilized downstream. So there's also an option to visualize the JSON tree. You can minimize and maximize. You can also copy the content and take it elsewhere. If now, once we scrape this data, we are going to perform some data operations as the output that we get from the Firecrawl Scrape API is a data format, and this is accepted by a few components. So if we were to click on this node, we'll see that these are all of the components that can take in data from this Scrape API. Now, this Firecrawl component provides output as data. And if we quickly hover over the output, we'll see that the output is data. And if we were to click on it, we'll see that there are all of these components that can take take data as input. But for our use case, there are two things we wanted to check. One is to only send the markdown and not everything else. We just want to keep the main content from the web page for our LLM to analyze. And next is we want to send the data as a message. So these two components come in handy where the first one is going to help take the data and use the markdown key and only send that over to the next step. So so if we were to run this, we'll notice that only the markdown is read from the JSON. And next is we want to take the data and send that over as a message. So 
we are using the input from the data and then sending the output as message. So once we run this, we'll see that the output here is just a message. So essentially we have all of the data from the resume as well as from the job description. Now our prompt is quite detailed and feel free to use any of the prompt enhancer tools. ChatGPT also can help you. Now the magic happens in the prompt. So this is a detailed prompt where we're saying that we are going to be providing these two input data points. And then the task is first to score the match and see how well our resume is going to perform against the job description. And not just that, it is going to look into the keyword skills experience. So anything from the resume that is going to help analyze and rank against the job description. Now, second is we are asking to perform a detailed analysis, including all of these points here. And not just that, we want some suggestions as how we can make it better. And last thing is that we're asking for it to keep it clear and actionable, something that is easily applied to our resume. Now, the section below is optional, but it's always a nice idea to provide a structure for the output so the LLM knows what are we looking at as our final result. So in this case, we wanted to provide the score, we wanted to provide all these trends and areas to improve, and also the suggestions at the end so we can utilize that and modify resume. And finally, we're providing the resume and the job description. So if we're to run this, it's gonna grab the prompt and the resume and the job description, and then we can use all of that in our next step. We can see that based on the resume and the job description, the score is 85 out of 100 and the reason for that is there are all of these trends but again there are some areas to improve as well and there are all of these suggestions as how we can improve the overall resume and this includes the text as well as any sort of formatting suggestions so this is quite nice now this could be connected with a front-end application using the api access and we have previously covered in many videos how you can vibe code and build a front and application or a complete SaaS application and connect with Langflow as your backend API. And in this particular case, you can send all of your files to the backend and ask for the agent to rank and then take the response and send that over to your front-end application. With that, you can build a personal tool for yourself to improve your resume or provide that as a SaaS application for other users.